Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aries. Aries, happy birthday for those that are having birthdays this week. This is going to be a weekly love reading from the 8th through the 14th. Let's get straight into it. I already pre-shuffled your, your cards. So, whoa, first card out of the deck, the devil. The devil energy. This is uh, this is all about attachment. It can mean it can mean certain things, right? We're gonna see, we're gonna see how the formula plays out. However, this could be one of two things. It could mean that you are toxically in love with someone, or on the contrary, that you may be yearning for someone and desires of someone at a toxic level. Okay, in a miserable state, rather. You know, that's what I meant to say. Now, <clears throat> Aries. Moving along here, there seems to be some sort of oppressive energy here that you're dealing with. There's something that you're carrying, Aries, regarding your love life that seems to be quite, um, you could say, overbearing. This is in the subconscious, so maybe you're not even aware of this. What is on the conscious? The Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is conflict, so you're clearly aware of this. You, you guys are most certainly experiencing something that is turbulent, to say the least. Okay? Now, what I'm seeing here, based on the future, is that things will get better. All right, maybe not within the relationship that you are involved with or that this turbulence involves, but with yourself. I'm seeing the card of self-contentment in the future. <clears throat> As for now, the energy you're exuding, the magician. This is wonderful energy. You see, you're not held back, ladies and gentlemen. You are persevering. Whatever, whatever sort of you know, challenges before you, you're surmounting, or at least you're doing the necessary to surmount it. You're devising a method to surmount. Now, the person you're dealing with, whomever is linked to this situation, the death, this can entail multiple things that we're going to look into in just a moment. You see, the death can, is transformation. This can be absolute relinquishment and cutting you off, or this can be transforming this you know, turbulent energy into something better. We shall see in just a moment. Nevertheless, this reading is quite interesting thus far. Now, as for your desires, Aries, look, I have a, this indication that you're having difficulty finding positivity in the situation that you're in. All right, you may be quite drawn to the negativity that has ensued, the negativity that you're experiencing rather than the um, potentials that exist. Nevertheless, like I said, you do not hold yourself back. Aries, look at you in the outcome, the emperor. What a, what a beautiful and powerful reading, ladies and gentlemen. I love... All right. First of all, let me just say this. I'm tuning into Aries, Aries people, that their love lives aren't the best. Okay? This isn't anything to be, you know, showing off. And this isn't... Your love life ain't all that. Let's just say that. All right? However, you... You are all that. You are all that, Aries. I don't know what it is that you got going on, but, but you are it. All right? You're in your power. You're grounded. You're, you, look, we got to consider that challenges are going to be around us always. Even if we're the best version of ourselves and, you know, we're, we're fucking uh, the walking Jesus, if you will. There's going to be problems. It doesn't matter. We're going to be surrounded by turbulence. Look at, look at what's going on in the world. All right? Nevertheless, in the midst of all this shit, all this chaos, you are centered, you are grounded, or at least you're moving towards that. Now, let's look into this devil energy. Why is it devil energy? Right in the heart of your love reading. <clears throat> Thinking about someone from the past, possibly a Capricorn, possibly an earth sign. What's with this devil energy? Okay, interesting. <clears throat> You're wanting cooperation with someone. You're wanting cooperation with someone. It's like there's a certain phase here that you're wanting to close out. And you're wanting to move towards cooperation. <clears throat> interesting. However, this, the situation seems to be stagnant. All right, the situation appears stagnant to say the least. So the growth that you would like to see in this situation, it's a clear indication that you're not seeing it. All right. However, with this energy popping up, I want to tell you that where you are right now, you are right where you should be. 
things are the way they are because that's the way they should be at this time. In other words, there are lessons to be learned. There's, there's things to gain from this situation. You see, a lot of times we get caught up in the mundane experience. Shit hits the fan and we're fucking, we're, we're basically stuck on what he or she said rather than the core lesson that there is to gain from this situation, right? <clears throat> now, why is the energy, what's with the energy of this individual that, that you're dealing with here? Remember this devil energy is linked to, what is their energy toward Aries? <clears throat> Fuck, the three of swords and abandonment. Well, clearly, obviously, that death card, that description of the death card of them cutting the link with you, that was, that was, that was what I, that was what it is, okay? The three of swords and the five of pentacles. This is abandonment and fucking feeling heartbroken about this shit. Man. All right, well, look, <clears throat> you guys already know the routine. And in the extended reading, I'm going to dive deeper into them. I'm going to dive into their intentions, into their desires, into their mind, into their feelings, into the potential of this situation, of this relationship. But as of now, I'm going to put them aside, Aries, because it seems that, yeah, the relationship that you share with them is possibly, you know, just, I don't want to say shit, but it's, it sucks. It sucks. It's not a good, it's not good. Okay. It's not good. However, you... You are beaming, Aries. You are beaming. Let's look into this energy. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor in the outcome. Tell me about the emperor energy in the outcome. <clears throat> wow. Star card. Wow, look at you. Aries, 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 Aries. Look. You're dealing with something quite tumultuous when it comes to your love life, all right? It's turbulent, it's clear. And you yourself seem to be grounded. You yourself seem to be clear about what it is that you want and your desires. I, I do not see you denying yourself of your own truth. You may have feelings for someone, significant feelings for someone, Aries. You seem to be quite desirous of wanting to reconcile a conflict with an individual. That is what I, that's flat out what I'm seeing here. All right, even in the midst of this chaos and what I'm seeing, even as I tried to divert from this individual that seems to be cutting you off, the reading kept leading back to that. I wanted to tune into your own self-empowering energy. And what I'm getting here is that you are quite, what's the term I'm looking for? You're, you're clear. There's, there's clear resolution in regards to your own self when it comes to the situation. I don't see you discombobulated. I don't see you confused. I don't see you embodying this energy of uncertainty and just scattered energy, as I typically do when I do these readings. No, you are the king or the queen of chaos. <clears throat> or rather, God or goddess of war. <clears throat> well, you, you have the ability to revel in chaos, Aries. That is your power. That is your power. When shit hits the fan, who do they call? Aries. If there's any friend anyone can have that will defend them and stand up for them, it's going to be the Aries. It's going to be the Aries. <clears throat> Anyways, Aries. Let's look deeper into you. What's going on here with this magician? You see, you're exuding these major arcana that are just so potent. What is it that Aries is trying to manifest here? What is it that Aries is trying to the full energy. What is it that Aries is trying to manifest here? That they are actively aligning themselves with manifesting. Wow. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. Look, you're dealing with a situation that is just experiencing a massive sense of invulnerability, stagnant energy, and you are desirous of union. Okay? Flat out. That's what I'm seeing here. Two of Cups. Aries, it doesn't matter what I tell you, you seem to be standing strong, okay? You seem to be standing strong, and this energy that I'm seeing here in the future is only leading to further self-contentment. I want to emphasize that. Self-contentment. Not contentment within the relationship, all right? Not reconciliation, but self-contentment. Where this relationship will go, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take this to the extended, and I'm going to dive into the relationship. But that's what I'm leaving you with. You, my friend. You're looking good during your season, 
All right. See you in the extended. The link will be in the description. Otherwise, it's a pleasure as always.